All right, we're back. Video guys live. Tuesdays at 3 p.m. We teach you about all the products we sell, and you can see what's on here. We got a bunch of new tech stuff. Today's show is about the new tech TriCaster Mini X, which I call the Mini we've all been waiting for. What do I mean by that? There's a whole product line on the Minis that's out there, but the Mini X is really giving us a state-of-the-art product that's really aimed at the needs of those of you out there in the government, corporate, educational worship space who just, you know, you only have 10K to spend on a mixer. You don't have 15, 20K. You want something that's a turnkey solution that's all in one that unleashes the full power of NDI. And that's what you're going to get with the TriCaster Mini X. So just to let everyone know, the Mini X starts at $79.95. That's for the base unit. And then we also have a bundle that includes the TC Mini Control Surface the TC Mini X, and a carry case, a hard case that you can bring that stuff around for under 10 grand. And that to me, folks, is a phenomenal, phenomenal achievement. You know, in today's world of product shortages and supply chain issues, prices are going up, up, up. And with this product, New Tech held their ground and said, we're going to deliver that kit for under 10K. And they have, and I'm really, really impressed by that. So Big kudos to the gang at New Tech. I know it had to be a struggle both internally with your own finance team and getting the parts and with your suppliers, but you did it and we're real excited about it. Let's talk a little bit more about what this unit really does. It really gives you everything. You're going to get video switching. You're going to get playback. You're going to get virtual sets. The ability to add graphics, to record, to stream. There's a new feature live link that lets you bring in live web pages onto the TriCaster to bring into your production, you're getting audio, you're getting NDI, you're getting graphics, you're getting, you can use HDMI cameras, you can use NDI cameras, and yes, you can even use SDI cameras. We'll go into that a little bit in the show, but this is a complete solution for inputs, tremendous product based on a new powerful chassis and chipset that's working in here that can do the job, and we're going to tell you about what it does. And this is the general schematic we have. All you need and more talking about what makes this different. I really want to stress that what makes this product different than the NDI, uh, the Mini 4K, is that this product has four HDMI inputs. It's also got these multi-viewer units. It's got the, 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 your, your, your network, your NDI connection. So let's come on to this camera shot that we have over here and bring this one up, as you can see, which I really love. And I'm really going to go through what's on this puppy and show it off a little bit to you. Here we go. I, I, it's my fault. I picked it up. I moved it. So let's go through. First of all, what are you going to see here? four HDMI inputs. That means you can plug up to four HDMI cameras or other HDMI sources into it. One, two, three, four. Those are the multi-viewer outputs. Those are display port outputs that you can use with an HDMI converter to plug into to, go to power monitors. Those could be those could be powering your program outputs. You can design what you want to go to them. It could be one could be just on one camera or the other. Very interesting. And this is just the basic back panel from the computer that's really inside and running this whole thing. And I asked about what these little knobbies were. And they said, well, they're for decoration. It comes on the set. There's no Wi-Fi or anything integrated into this unit. But it would be cool someday if it had it, wouldn't it? So here's a picture of the unit really all plugged in so you can see. You know, you've got cameras, microphones, HDMI devices. You can use all your existing products. If you have an older TriCaster, you're looking to get into HD and 4K, there's a great way to go. If you've been using a system that's a computer-based system on a laptop or a PC and just want something that's an all-in-one, completely configured solution, here you go. You don't have to purchase any additional equipment because you can use this strictly an HDMI mixer if you want, or you can really go to town and put in some NDI. So if we could bring this up full screen for a sec. This kind of shows you what's going on here. So we've got the TriCaster Mini X. We've got a Netgear switch. We've got PTZ cameras that are NDI. We've got an SDI camera going into a tri going into a Spark converter, so it's NDI. And then we have HDMI cameras that can be coming in directly. And then just as we do here, our laptop comes into our TriCaster TC1 via the Wi-Fi we have in the building. If you have Wi-Fi and you're on the Wi-Fi network, great. If you don't, you can bring it in through wired. That's why we kind of have a dotted line there. It can be either or. But we just wanted to give you an example of what this unit allows you to do and how many things you can bring into it. Now, I love that this unit has HDMI inputs. I have found when we're talking to schools and churches and the smaller side, people have a $10,000 budget. 
They tend not to have SDI cameras. If they do, they have one camera that's SDI. Most of their stuff is HDMI off-the-shelf cameras, or they're using PTZ cameras that have NDI. So what I love about this product is really a best of all worlds that allows you to use whatever existing equipment you have, plus new equipment, and you can grow forward because as we all know, most of us are shooting in 4K perhaps, but we're really streaming and we're really presenting our program in HD. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk about is you know, just the workflows on this. So it can get a little confusing with the different products. So I wanna show what I consider now is the core of the new tech TriCaster product line for those people looking to get started with a TriCaster. So if we can bring this up full screen, I really wanna focus on three models, the new Mini X, the existing Mini 4K, and the TC1. Now there's a TC1 Pro and a TC2 Elite, great products. That's for a different show. I'm really trying to aim this at people who are on a budget, who have 10,000. I include the TC1 because if you've got a budget that can be pushed to 15 or 20, I definitely think you want to consider the TC1 because as you see when we go through this, we're going to go through the features that it has. So let's bring me on the screen and then that's perfect. So the first big difference between these units is like I said, the video inputs. The Mini X has four HDMI, the Mini 4K has only NDI direct inputs, but they include two Spark converters, so you get two HDMIs into it. And the TC1 is an all SDI professional unit with four SDI inputs. The maximum amount of inputs you can get into the Mini X or the Mini 4K is eight. But I wanna be clear when we go to that next slide. The, the, the TC Mini X requires a switch to deliver NDI. You can get your four HDMI inputs and mix to your heart's content. But if you wanna work in NDI, you gotta go through a switch. Now we recommend these Netgear switches. Now we're gonna talk about these switches a little later, but if we can go to this camera, I wanna show you, this is the newest Netgear switch and it'll actually go on the tabletop. It's about 500 bucks. It, if you're looking to go with NDI to get started, the number one thing you need to make sure is that you've got a switch that's capable that's flexible, that's easy to set up, and that's stable as hell. And the most stable switches we have ever found are these M4250s from Netgear. They happen to be our number one tech support issue, solver, that when people call us and say, hey, I'm having a problem with my TriCaster or NDI with my vMix, our number one solution, get one of these Netgear switches and the world gets better. We're gonna go into all the different flavors of that later, but I had to mention that because with the existing Mini 4K, you could do NDI without a switch. You can actually directly connect NDI devices to that, up to four of them. But if you wanna go more than four inputs, you really need to have a switch like the Netgear. The other difference, if you'll notice when we go down the line a little bit, is resolution. The, ND, the Mini 4K and the TriCaster TC1 are both capable of 4K P60. Now, a lot of people ask me, why do I need 4K P60? 4K P60 is most important for those of you doing sports. If you're doing sports and you want to stream a sports game, the P60, that extra frame rate, is going to make your replays better. It's going to make your sports videos look better, clearer, crisper. But if you're not mixing sports and your really primary use for this is to do, let's say, your own shows, a house of worship service, maybe you're doing like graduations or school plays and stuff like that, I think 4K P30 is more than enough even if you're gonna run your screens within your venue 4K, you're gonna be streaming HD 180p probably. So it's a perfect thing. Uh, if you remember when I went through the back of it, if we can show this shot again, it's got the multi-viewers and that's these right here. Now these, they call them multi-viewers because they're display ports, but you can use them to drive display port, HDMI, VGA, using any adapters you want. So that's why they call it a multi-viewer, whereas the more professional unit, the TC1, that strictly got SDI outputs because SDI is considered to be more professional. Now, speaking of SDI, you could still use SDI with the TriCaster Mini X or the Mini 4K simply by using one of these sparks. Now, I apologize, folks. This one's a brand new one. It's spoken for. We're shipping it out to someone today, so I couldn't open it up. But the sparks are a little mini converters that will allow you to, up oh, there, there they are in the picture there. You can see them on the bottom there. And those will convert HDMI or SDI into NDI to then feed through your ethernet. So let's talk about this slide, which I brought up to get a little ahead of myself and how scalable this solution is. Now, what we're showing you here is the unit itself and you can get it with the keyboard control surface you want. And then we said, let's throw a couple of Spark Pluses in there so someone can bring in some additional cameras that aren't NDI via NDI. And we even have the new, P the new uh, three, uh, the, the new new tech uh, PTC camera. Our point is that you can use all this stuff together. It's scalable and flexible. You get full NDI, you get resolution up to 4K P30, 
It's a tremendous solution, but I do want to give you a little tech tip here. Obviously, one of the difference between the Mini and something like the TC1 or the TC1 Pro is the actual hardware, the computer that's inside the box that's running everything. Everything we're showing you today, a Mini can do, especially if you give it a Netgear uh, switch to really give you stable switching for your NDI, but you can over, you can just push it so far and do so much stuff that your Mini starts kind of acting a little not as solid and stable because you're trying to do too much with the Mini. Well, our number one tech tip if that happens is, is take one of the outputs of the Mini and go to use that to drive a uh, encoder and take the encoding off of your Mini and let a third-party device do the encoding like by uh, Matrox or LiveView or Epifan. And that will really allow you to push your Mini a lot further by outboarding the encoding to another device. But what I also want to stress here is that that's if you try to do everything all at the same time. The truth of the matter is the Mini is mighty. It is the Mini we've all been waiting for and is more than capable of doing a show. Even a show that you see that we're doing here, we could probably do most of it on a Mini. We're doing it on a TC1 because today's show, we're not pushing it as far as we do as some other shows. But this is a great example of the stuff you can do. You know, we've got a virtual set going. We've got picture in picture. We're bringing up graphics. All this stuff you could do with a TriCaster Mini X, a phenomenal new product. It is the TriCaster Mini you've been waiting for. All right, we talked about some products you're going to need to make this thing fly. Netgear switches are number one. If we could just bring this up full screen, we're going to have this entire thing on our blog post and in the, in the notes on our YouTube page. These are the switches. We recommend them. They are the best in the world for what you're doing. Netgear came out with the 10 series, the 4250. They have the, the, the 10 port models. PoE Plus means you can power your Sparks. You can power your uh, PTZ cameras all through the PoE. We have the 12 port units. There are even bigger units that are available. But I just thought these are the units that are going to be scaling. And I will tell you, the two that I really love here, hey, if you're on a budget for $5.99, the little tabletop one with 10 IOs is perfect for you. My sweet spot unit is this middle one you'll see on the second line that's for $9.79.99. One of the reasons I really like that is because you got the 2X SPDIF, 8X POE plus 240 watts of total power. It's just a little bit more expandable. But like I said, that unit for $5.99 is a great place to start. Next, we have the Spark Converters. There's three converters in the Spark family. There's the IO4K, which is HDMI. There's a Spark Plus IO SDI. And then there's the IO12G, depending on what you need to get and what you're looking to do. The complete line of Sparks are a way to take any non-NDI camera and turn it into an NDI device because it's just you plug the SDI, or the HDMI, whichever input you have in your Spark. Your Spark goes into the wall through, via your internet, your, your, your network Ethernet, and boom, you've got NDI. New Tech makes some great PTZ cameras. The PTZ UHD is a 4K camera for under five grand. That's real spectacular. If you want to get in the 4K space, then the unit that you see up here is the NDI HX PTZ3 camera, a great camera at 2395 that really does a phenomenal job. We're really excited about that puppy as well. And it's available in white or black. And I know a lot of houses of worship prefer the white. So as do a lot of education schools because that's where the you know the blends in better with the walls of the church or the school. So just want to make sure you know that those are available in white or black. T TC Mini X highlights. Let's bring this up full screen, folks, and we can go through them all one at a time. It's pretty it's pretty interesting. HD and 4K switching up to 4K P30. That's the magic bullet. That's what makes this product so wonderful. You get all the goodness of a TriCaster. So you don't just get switching. You get overlays. You get virtual sets. You get green screen. You get lower thirds. You get animated thirds. You get the ability to bring in web pages via LiveLink. You get four HDMI inputs for a total of eight external video inputs, four mix outputs. You get NDI compatible with all the major streaming platforms. You can stream directly from the TriCaster. You get real-time social media publishing, multi-channel recording, video playback, which means you can bring in and have preloaded clips and video clips on our show. We play video clips all the time. Those are preloaded on the TriCaster we played out. And you can record all your streams. So you can record your, 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 your each camera as well as the program output stream. We call that ISO recording. Very important, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of post-production work on the product. And then built-in live titling and motion graphics. This is a complete 
all-in-one solution, folks. It does the job phenomenally, and it's expandable, it's scalable, it's flexible, it's reliable, and it is stable as hell. It is a great investment. I want to talk about a new feature called the Live Link. This has been something that's been requested for TriCasters for a lot. Some other products have it, but this gives us the ability to bring in graphics, videos, and web pages directly internally into the TriCaster. Before this was available, you had to open up that graphic on a separate laptop or something and then bring it in. Now you can actually open up those web pages and those graphics on the TriCaster and incorporate them into your show, which also means maybe you have a video that's a YouTube video that's on your or a video that's on your on your local network that you want to be able to play. You can play it right into the show from the TriCaster. So very cool. Here's an example of that, I believe is what we're doing, right? So this is a video that's playing right off the TriCaster into the show. Very cool feature. All right, next. Well, there is no next. This wraps up the show. I really, I wanted to nail this show quickly, and I think I did a great job. This is a phenomenal product. We will be doing a product spotlight and some more shows on the product, but I want to stress again, the new tech TriCaster Mini X. It is the mighty mini. It is the TriCaster Mini we've been waiting for. Why? Four HDMI, HDMI inputs, full NDI compatibility, 4K P30. It's available for $79.95, under 10 k And you can even get it bundled with the control surface and the carrying case for under 10 k at $99.95. So I hope you guys are as enthusiastic about this product as I am. You know you can call us at 800-323-2325. We have people here ready to help you and explain how this product works. In fact, I have James and Adam who are producing the show right now. They're available to help you learn more about these products. And if you do get these products in your school or a church, I do recommend you go to New Tech University and sign up for one of the TriCaster training courses and maybe even get certified because it's a useful skill. TriCasters are in a lot of places. And if you're a school that's a high school and you're going to put a TriCaster in there and your students are going to be able to say they use the TriCaster, well, that might be the little extra nugget that gets them into the college communications program or the college program they're looking to or maybe gets them a job working for the local church or working for a local ad agency where they're producing live content for them as a hired gun because they know how to use a TriCaster. So TriCasters, love it, love the show. I'm glad you watch it. Remember, this is where I say watch us live every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Please follow us on YouTube, like us on YouTube. That way you'll be alerted in Facebook when our shows are coming on. The social media love, the more you can give us, the better. We love it. Please share these things, like our things, and do all that other good stuff. This is Gary from Video Guys. I'll see you next week. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.